Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about audiobooks and particularly about audio.com. Now, one of the things that I love about audiobooks is that I can listen to an audiobook while I'm doing many other things. I can listen to them while I'm doing dishes, while I'm getting steps. See my previous video on marching for exercise. I can listen to audiobooks while I'm driving the car. I can listen to audiobooks while I'm doing many other things. But another reason is I used to love to read regular books, printed books, and I spent much money on printed books in the past. I had thousands of books that I had bought over the years, but eventually I came down with macular degeneration and I am legally blind in my left eye and my right eye is declined to the point that I just cannot right now read small print. I can't read a paperback book anymore. A hardback book is very difficult. I have to use a magnifier. If I receive an official postal mail from somebody, it takes me a long time to read through it and it's very difficult. So I really love audiobooks. Since I got into audiobooks, I can read it again and I love it. So audiobooks are a great thing for me and I'd be willing to bet that if you got into them, you would like them too. You probably already like them or you wouldn't be listening to this video. So let me get into my number one resource for audiobooks and that's my library. I am actually a member of two different libraries in two different states and that works out really well because between both of those libraries there are thousands of books that I can check out and you know how much it costs to check out something from the library. Zero. It's absolutely free and it's wonderful and I love it. Now what's even better is when I use the Libby app on my phone I can download a book from wherever I am. I was 5,000 miles away from home. No, let's take it back. I was on a 6,132 mile trip last year and I was thousands of miles away from home and I got done with one book and I just got out my phone and I got on the app and I checked out a new book from the library and it was from wherever I was and it worked just great. So that's my number one favorite resource and the main reason is price. The thing I don't like about it is they give you a one week or a two week limit on how long you can have a book out and sometimes I'm just not finished with a book in one week and with that particular app, the Libby app, if somebody's waiting in line and your checkout period expires, then you lose that book and the person next in line gets that book and you have to get back in line if you want to finish that book. I've only had that happen once or twice and that was with some pretty long books. but. That was one of the things that I did not like about using library books on my phone. But the good thing was I could listen to them anywhere. But the other source I wanted to tell you about for audiobooks is audible.com. Now I had heard about audible.com for at least two years before I finally took the plunge and got into it. And the reason it took me so long is because the only thing I could find out about how much is this going to cost me long term was that it was $150 a year for 12 credits. I could spend more money and get more credits, but $150 a year, eh, that came out to $12.50 per book. Now, before I was on audiobooks and I was buying printed books, I would spend 18, 20, 22, sometimes $25 for a book that I really wanted. And so getting a book for $12.50 was actually kind of a bargain. Now, when I finished the phase of my life where I could enjoy printed books, I wound up giving away about 2,000 books. Here's a quick clip showing you the great book giveaway of 2014. And this is the great book giveaway of April 2014. I have probably 2,000 different books that I've been collecting for 50 years. Now, I've taken these books and I put up a notice on nextdoor.com, which really reaches a whole bunch of people. And I was overwhelmed with the number of people that want the books. Now, these are the hardback books. I'm taking a look at these hardback books, and you can see there's quite a few of them. But now we go over here to the bookshelf, and we notice we have some paperback books. We have paperback books on that shelf. We have this shelf, but then if you look closely behind it, there's a whole other row of paperback books back there. And then there's another shelf with two rows of books. There's another shelf with two rows of books. But you know what? 
that's not all there. Oh, wait a minute. There's another shelf above that with a bunch of books on it. So there's good one, two, three, four and a half shelves there. But if you come over here past the China Hut, you'll notice here is another one, two, three, four shelves of books with two rows of books on each shelf. So there are really quite a bit of books here. Now, the people who found these books who are going to come here right now and pick up these books uh, is a mother and her son who is working on this Eagle Scout project. This Eagle Scout candidate has found a company that is building a senior center that has a big library in the senior center. And so far, they don't have any books in that library. So this Eagle Scout candidate is making for his Eagles project. He's going to pick up books wherever he can find them and stock the library. So I think that's a really good use. All of these books that I have read and loved every single one of them are going to get a new home where more people can read it. I am just so tickled about that. Cool, huh? But now I'm into audiobooks. And when I finally decided I was going to take the plunge, I sucked the ear through my teeth and says, well, I guess I can try it for a year and see if I like it. I don't have to renew it if I really don't like it. And it just so happened it was right about Black Friday and I ran into a Black Friday sale and I got my first 12 credits for $99.99. I'm going to call it $100. So that came out to $8.25 per book and that was a much better bargain than $12.50 per book. Or is it $12.25? I forget. But it was a much better bargain. I said, oh, okay, well, this is not bad. This is not bad. So I went ahead and I got on there and I found that they had the books that I wanted that were not in the library and I downloaded them and with the Audible app on my phone, I can listen to the books however I want to. I can speed them up and listen at 1.2 or 1.3 speed if I like, which I usually do, and listen to an eight-hour book in maybe six and a half hours. So that is a lot better as far as consuming a lot of books in a limited amount of time, and I'm sure everybody will agree, you have more things to do in your life right now than you have time to do it. Let me tell you a few things about audible.com. Number one, they have a lot of very good books. They usually have the latest bestsellers available. Now, in audible.com, the thing that I dislike most about them is they don't tell you how much it's going to cost you long term, other than the fact you can buy 12 credits for $150, and they expire after a year? Really? Uh, I'm not sure I understand why they do that. I mean, if you're going to spend the money and you have this credit, and if it takes you 13 months, why do they care if it takes you 13 months to go ahead and use up these credits? I don't understand that, and I wish they would change it. But by the same token, once you use up your credits, you can go ahead and buy more credits. Now, here's what I have found about their pricing structure, and it's not on their website anywhere. I sent them an email this morning asking their excellent customer service, what is your pricing structure long term? And I have been unable to find it on the website, and I haven't gotten an answer back from them yet. And if I get it before I post this video, I will insert that right here. Now, on to what I have found about their pricing structure, and that is... If you're just buying it cold when there's no sales on, you're going to pay $150 for 12 credits, and that'll last you one year. Now, if you read like I do, 12 credits isn't nearly enough for a year. I read many more than 12 books in a year, but I understand other people read much less avidly than I do. So if you ask them for a discount, or if you get it on a sale, you might be able to get your 12 credits for $120, actually $119.99. And since this is a vlog, I can comment. And I think it's really ridiculous that your, pri your official price is $119.99. Why don't you just call it $120? Well, I know why. It's the marketers tell you, well, if you make it a penny less, it seems like a lot less, and people are much more likely to buy it at $119.99 than they are to buy it at $120 even. Really? Well, okay, numbers don't lie, but by the same token, I still think it's ridiculous. Okay, so much for my commentary. Now, what I have found, and I'm not sure this is correct, and I'm sure they will correct me if I'm wrong here, but if you use up your 12 credits in much less than 12 months, say you use them up in 10 months or even 6 months, and you write their excellent customer service, and you say, hey, look, I just used up my last credit, and I really want to buy some more credits. Have you got a good discount for a loyal customer like me? Chances are very good they'll say yes. And 
if it's in a time when they don't need all these sales or when you're right at the 12 month point, they may give you a discount down to $119.99. Or they may do what I have found out at least three times since I have been a member of audible.com and I have gotten my 12 credits at $99.99, which is of course $100. Now, price per credit is something that's going to come in handy and a little bit later here, and I'll tell you that when we get there, but if you spend $150, $12.25 per book, if you spend $120, it's $10 per book, excuse me, let's make it per credit, and if you spend $100, it's $8.25 per credit. Now, this is going to be important for you to remember later on. Now, audible.com, they have regular sales. When I very first got with them, they had a two books for one credit sale going on pretty much all the time. And I did a lot of my shopping on their two books for one credit sales. And so I got a lot more books for my 12 credits than just 12 books, one book per credit. And since then they have evolved and I actually kind of like the way they have evolved, not the fact that they have taken these two books for one credit sales and reduced them to only a few times per year, but the fact that they have now also implemented two other kinds of sales. One of them is on sale from an author you know, reduce prices. Now, a normal audiobook, if you've ever shopped audiobooks in the past, many years ago, you probably understand that they cost 60, 70, 80 dollars for an audiobook and you could only get it on a set of six or eight CDs. It was a big hassle. But now with the internet and everything going on, you normally will be able to buy a book on audible.com at a different price, which is usually somewhere between $30, $50 or $60 at the regular price. But you don't ever have to buy it at the regular price because if you bought credits, even the expensive credits are only $12.25 per book. And that's not bad. So when they have a sale at reduced prices, uh, I just browsed the sale this morning. They had just about 600 books. I brought up their sale pages and listed the number of listings per page. I set that to be 50 because I like to scroll through them pretty quickly and don't have to keep don't like to have to keep going through page after page after page. And even at 50 listings per page, there were 12 pages of them at 12 pages at 50 listings per page. Isn't that about 600 books on their on sale from an author, you know, sale? It is. And so I was able to browse them and I could see that these titles were on sale anywhere from $8.99 as a high all the way down to $1.99 as a low. Now, if I'm getting my credits at $8.25 a book and I see this title is on sale for $8.99, then it would make more sense to me to buy it for a credit. And if I see it's on sale for $1.99, it would make a lot more sense for me to buy it for cash. That is, of course, assuming that I really like that book and am willing to spend a credit or some cash on it. And there are many of them there that I am willing to do that with. So that is one of the great reasons to know how much do your credits cost so that when you get onto these reduced price sales, you know, should I buy it for cash or should I just spend a credit on it? That's one way to do it. Now, another thing they've implemented, and this isn't exactly a sale, it is their Plus Catalog. Now, their Plus Catalog has hundreds, maybe even thousands of books in it, and essentially, it's a lending library. You can go through their Plus Catalog, and when you see one you like, you can go right over there to the button that says, Add to my library, and it doesn't cost you a penny. And you can listen to that book and check out a genre that you haven't checked out before. You can check out authors that you don't know. You can check out the types of books that you haven't checked out before. I don't know if I'm going to like this political thriller. Let me try it out. And it doesn't cost you a penny to do that. And you can discover whether you like that author, that genre, that type of book at no cost. And if you do like it, then there's probably plenty more in the Plus catalog. Let me talk about Audible's customer service. The one thing that I have found about Audible's customer service is they are one of the best customer services in the internet. I have never gone to Audible customer service and been disappointed with one of their responses. Now, if you have ever written a help 
support request to a large company, and Audible.com is a large company because they're part of Amazon, you are probably been very dismayed, disappointed, and chagrined by the answer you got back, which was, don't bother me, get out of my face, here's a boilerplate response to let you know that, oh, your business is very valuable to us, we will take your response into consideration and let you know if we bother to do anything about it. And these are always very frustrating responses to get. I've never gotten one of those kind of responses from Audible. They always respond individually. They respond quickly. They let me know that they actually read the support request that I sent in. They kind of repeat it and paraphrase it back to me. That tells me they read it and it makes me feel very valued to them as a customer. And that, of course, helps cement me as a loyal customer of Audible.com. One time I made a suggestion to them, I think it would be really great if you improved your website by doing this certain thing that I outlined to them. And they wrote me back and they said, that's a wonderful idea. We really appreciate your suggestion. We're going to forward it to our web development team. And to show you how much we appreciate it, we have added one more credit to your account. I'm happy with that. I mean... I'm happy, number one, to see if I can help them make their site better. I'm happy, number two, that they were able to show me that they appreciated it by awarding me a credit. Now, the last thing I wanted to get into was what I calculated to be my price per book in 2022, and I calculated this in the latter part of November, so it really wasn't all of 2022. I had bought my 12 credits for that year, at $99. So my credits cost me $8.25 a piece. I did a lot of shopping on the two-for-one sales. I probably used 10 of my 12 credits on the two-for-one sale. So I got 20 books for 10 credits, and then the other two credits I used on individual books. So there's 22 books right there. I bought a number of books through their reduced price sales. And uh, oh, also they have a deal of the day. I meant to tell you that. Every day they send you an email with a deal of the day or the daily deal. And it is a book anywhere from $0.99, cents, $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. And it's their deal of the day. And I will find maybe one or two of those per year that I really like. So the ones that they send me that I don't like, eh, I know where the delete key is. But I bought a couple of them on the deal of the day, and I bought a few of them on the reduced price sale, but I got 73 titles from the Plus catalog. These are in addition to the books that I got from my credits. And I calculated out all the money I spent and all of the books that I got by the latter part of November in 2022, and my average price per book for 2022 at that point was $1.32 per book. Now, by any measure, that's a screaming bargain. Now, I'm sure not many people read or listen to audiobooks as much as I do, but if you do, or if you even enjoy audiobooks at all, I think it's worthwhile to give Audible.com a try. Now, that's pretty much all I've got about Audible.com. I'd love to hear what you have to say about Audible.com and about audiobooks in general and about your experience checking books out from the library. Go ahead to the comment section right down there below and let me know and let the other people here on the website on this YouTube channel viewing the comments know what you found about Audible, what you found about audiobooks in general, and what you found about audiobooks from your library. As always, if you found this video helpful, please give me that thumbs up so that I know and so the YouTube robots know that you think this video is worth re recommending to other viewers. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every single subscriber out there. And if you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will let you know when I post another great video right here on David's Tutorials and Vlog Channel. Meantime, everybody have a wonderful day and all the future days, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.